Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill, and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, thank you for watching this channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate my subscribers and anyone that likes my art. Thank you. So today we're going to be working on this canvas, and um, I'm going to be working on making the sky today. As you know, anybody who's followed me, I have over almost 150 videos. Please look back and enjoy those on my uh, site, YouTube site. And I have some on Facebook, uh, TikTok, and Instagram. I love Posca markers. And uh, what, as you know, if you've watched me, you shake these up. And you go ahead and do your work. Okay, this is one of my most favorite blues. This is a light blue from Posca, and I love it. Look at that vivid color. Isn't that beautiful? And so I'm going to go around my trees. And I don't worry if I mess up, because I can go back with my black marker. These are permanent uh, acrylic markers. So if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. It'll dry and you can go over it and color it, cover it. So if I make little mistakes, I don't worry because I can go back and fix that. I love this shade of blue. And I love um, the bright colors of Posca markers. So what's been going on in your world? Weather's been pretty good here. We had a bunch of rain, but now it has uh, quit for a while, and now we have some sunshine. Our temperatures are getting cooler because it's fall now, beginning of fall. So that's good, because it got pretty hot here. But don't you love these markers? Look at that blue. And it takes to canvas really well. Usually I, I work on sketchbooks, as you know, which I have a bunch of. It's my dog coming in from the doggy door. And uh, But I like canvas work as well. And Posca, do real, Posca markers do really well on canvas, as you can see. And they're just so bright and vivid, the colors. And I love that. In these trying times when things are so expensive, I've been staying home more, which I'm a homebody anyway, because the price of food has just blown my mind. So, doing art is a cheap way for entertainment that doesn't hurt anybody. In fact, it makes joy. I think these bright colors, they make me happy. Do they make you happy? They make me really happy. Isn't that a gorgeous blue? I'm glad you've joined me today. I appreciate it. And these two won't be exactly alike. But they will be somewhat alike. These are little canvases I enjoy doing. And uh, they're just very bright and fun. I like this pattern. I've done it a couple of times. And it seems to be pretty popular. So there I got my blues going right there. go up and down on the nib and that makes more paint come out. Be careful though because it will pool if you press on the nibs too much. And th these are the nibs. That's what they're called. The nib. And it's just like a little sponge that absorbs that paint that comes out. You can change your nibs. Excuse me. Nibs. They're called nibs, not nubs. You can change your nibs, buy new ones if you want. I haven't done that. I just switch them around. And that seems to work for me pretty well. 
So again, we're using this blue. This is a uh, light blue from Posca. Again, one of my most favorite colors in the whole group. This is day two of my little sun canvas. Kind of looks like snow on there, didn't it? That white. Kind of going over that. Some white places. But art can really help you um, if you're struggling with stress and things like that. I have a little room in my house where I do this work so sometimes if you hear other sounds that's my husband or my dogs. Pardon them. I don't mind if I go over this because I'm going to go over it with black in the end. So. Okay, so there's my blue sky. Yay, got it. So let's uh, let's look about our land. So let's see. This can be little hills, and that's going to be brown. Posca has a really nice light brown that I really like. This is uh, brown. They have a dark brown, but I really like this light brown. It's a real warm, warm color, don't you think? Thank you for joining me these few days while I work on my sun canvas. I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Please pass the word around. I can always use more subscribers. I've been doing this for a little bit and I like it. I like doing art. I've been doing art though for gosh 20 odd years. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I really enjoy it. I enjoy watching people do art. It's very relaxing. So we'll make this. That was a green. Let's go with this uh, green. Let's try a different green for this area. huh? Let's try something different. Let's go with this light green. I believe it's light green. Yeah, Posca. I'm using PC5M markers. You can get all this on uh, Amazon. I didn't put any links down. You can go on Amazon and just Google or query Posca and it will come up for you. There's all kind of different sizes of Posca markers. I have them all, just about. I've collected them. It's taken me a while because they're not cheap. But boy, are they worth it in my opinion. Uh, I've also used a bunch of other markers, and you can look in my past videos to see how those went. But I'm still back here with Posca. Um, again, some other markers have done well, but not good enough for me. And these bright colors. Aren't these nice? Nice green. This is just a regular green. No, this is a light green. Light green. Oh, okay. Light green. I call it, normally it's called a lime, but Posca calls it a light green, and I really like it. It's very bright, very nice, and it fills up the colors pretty well, the canvas, I mean. Okay, so we got that going. Let's see, what else? Let's put some bright orange in there too, huh? Let's go with this right here because we're not making exactly like that other one but very similar. So this is day two of my sunshine canvas. I'm calling it that sunshine canvas. It's very nice and bright. These little canvases are fun to do they're not that expensive. You can get these canvases at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. You can get them online. They're not uh, they're not uh, too expensive, and you can get a bunch of them. And um, you know, if you're a crafter like me, 
can maybe take these to a show and sell them, frame them, sell them. It's a popular design. Mm -hmm. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, there's that. And then now we got some water, water. And I want to make it a different blue than what I got. And so I'm going to go with this. It's kind of a blue-green for my water. Okay. Oh, that's nice. This is Posca's dark green, I believe. Uh, let's see, what's it say? Emerald green. This is the emerald green from Posca. So here we go. Doing the water. Isn't that a beautiful blue with some aqua in it? It's like it's got some blues and a bunch of different stuff. Let's see. I don't want to get anything. What? I like watching people color. It's very relaxing. So if you've had a hard day in your home and you've got your adult beverage, take out a canvas. You know, do some coloring. Get some paint by numbers. I tell you that paint by numbers, and I'll be showing you some of that, is fun because you have to search for the numbers and then you have to color them. So it, you use your coloring and your your brain to find the right numbers and colors, which is kind of fun. Okay, we got one more there. What should we do? Let's put it, uh, let's go again with this. This is a light, this is apricot, one of my favorites. And it looks so good with this green and this orange. Doesn't that look neat? I think so. Well, even if I go out of the line, I don't worry because I'm going to go back and fix that with my black. So all these little things like here, I'll come back and fix with a black marker. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, come back and we'll keep working on my sun canvas. You have a great day. Thank you for joining um, Arting with Mrs. Gill. Bye-bye.